little cabin update. I got the floor in, mostly in anyway. Uh, the inside chinking is done. Of course I have a lot to do yet. Um, all these windows have to be trimmed, they have to be sealed. I'm actually going to use a synthetic foam sealer on the, the baseboards and that to keep that, you know, in, well, to keep it, keep the wind from drifting in. Um, you know, and the snow in the winter. Uh, that thermal, it's a silver, it's like a silver cell. It's got a little air space, uh, little cells, it's plastic and then it's silver. It's used as a moisture barrier and an insulator. A lot of times uh, builders use it in roofs. Uh, you can't use it in floor joists like I did. Um, I have changed the floor around a little bit. I went back to using plywood as the final top you know, layer. Uh, I got some of the boards in and, and I, I guess I just didn't like the roughness. I really didn't want to plane them off and uh, this plywood is okay, you know, it's fairly smooth and um, I think it'll make a good floor. Now the building, uh, the floor is nine foot wide. So obviously eight foot, you know, sheets of plywood don't cover the whole thing. There'll be a foot roughly gap along the west side. I'm going to get on the table saw and I'm going to cut wide boards and make them to fit. Uh, it's amazing once you lay these out, no matter how square you get everything and how you measure it, uh, it's very difficult because of the way the shape of the logs. I mean, unless you, and I've seen this done in log cabins, other log cabins, and that's a good idea. You, uh, you trim off, you flatten the inside. Uh, it makes like a nice wall. Now this I decided not to do. <laughs> that's a lot of work and you know, that's it's a lot of work anyway without adding to it. And I kind of like the way this looks a little better anyway. Um, but I know that's easier. The chinking uh, has a tendency, you know, to stick better. It's flat. And then you could even drywall over it if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but you could, you know. So, but I'm not planning on anything goofy like that. This is pretty much what you see is what you get. It's an off-grid cabin. Um, some people have questioned asked me actually if I was going to live here and uh, I would love to um, but it's actually going to be pretty much like a weekend you know getaway shack or whatever uh, especially for hunting season and then even in the summer but like today it's not all that pleasant out in the woods uh, the bugs aren't bad but the heat you know we got about a heat index of about 96 I guess and uh, it feels like it. And in the cabin, it's warm, so it's it's kind of rough. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing to complain about. But it is a little rough. So as far as heat goes, uh, of course, the best time to be out here is you know probably you know September, October, November. You know, and then December, January, February it gets damn cold. Then again, in March is kind of nice, and turkey hunting starts in the spring and all that. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's when a guy would use it the most. So that's my plan. But yeah, here's the gap. You can see the thermal cell. There will be a board over that. Um, it's going to be cut to fit on the table saw. Everything else matches up pretty good. I'm going to use 2x4s as a baseboard, and I'm going to foam behind those for insulation. So that's the plan there. Now you can really see, here's the ceiling. Of course, these are all these are all the heavy beams I cut with my uh, chainsaw mill, and uh, see that I could have I could have made my I could have taken that mill and I could have made my uh, logs flat on one side or on two sides even. See people do that, uh, but just it just wasn't just didn't plan it that way. So and the nice thing about this whole project is as I, as you're doing things, I keep changing. I like this better. I'm going to do this different. I like this better. I'm going to do it this way. So that's what's been making it interesting to me. And as you can see, all the chinking inside is pretty much done. There's still some stuff I have to seal up, of course. And then, but I mean, other than that, and I mean, I'm hoping we got good airflow. We got a big window to the to the west, facing the river, actually facing the high bank. Of course, the big door, but if there's a lot of bugs, you're not going to leave that open. You've got a small window facing east and a small window facing north. Upstairs, there's two big windows on the gable ends. So, but anyway, on uh, the west side, there will be a staircase 
somewhere kind of up against up against here. I mean, it'll be like this, up this way, up the door, you know, or up to the door, basically. I have it. I have a two by four set here. This has to be cut out, and then that's how you would access the upstairs. Um, so right now, you actually got to get the ladder out and access it from this uh, from the north end, which is okay for now, just for working up there. So, well, that's about all I got. It's warm, and I think I've had enough for the day. Uh, I'm gonna pack my stuff up, and I think I'm gonna go swimming or fishing. I don't know. It's a nice day. Um, I might. Uh, do a little casting for some smallmouth bass. We'll see. See what I feel like. But at any rate, thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time on my cabin build.